Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. Now, as you can see here, here is Curie, our new companion we got in the last episode from Vault 81. So, um, we were mentioning quite a bit now to have um, an alternative to Ada, who's knocking around somewhere. Um, well, you can see she's there. So, obviously, Ada is big and bulky now, and uh, very good for being out and about in the wasteland. But I'm thinking with Curie, we want to try and uh, make something that's a bit more... A bit more designed for um, close combat. So we want to try and... Uh, which torso are we going to go for? We can completely change it now, can't we? Well, that's a bit funky, isn't it? Sentry bot torso with them legs. That'd be a bit strange. So that'll give it a much better... Ooh. Is that the damage? Looks like it's got weapons built in. Okay, I see. So damage... Resistance... Vulnerable to overheating. Well, we'll go for sentry box. It's the best um, body you can go for. We need a head, though, don't we? What head can we give you? Um, a sentry bot head is... No, sentry factory head is the best, to see. Um, adds head laser attack for short engagement distance. Poor accuracy. That's um, extra long distance, medium distance... This is poor accuracy, but it's probably the best one. Let's go for that then. Why is it adding lasers and saws all the time? So let's, let's go for that head. Um, and arms. We could have arm. No, we've got no left arm at the moment, but we can have arms. Let's go for the sentry bot arms then, I suppose, won't we? Um, superior melee damage, reduced carrying capacity, improved melee damage, and carrying capacity. Exceptional carry capacity and improved melee damage. The sentry bot's arms are going to be the best to go for again. We are essentially going to end up with another sentry bot, aren't we, really? So, what are these? Improved damage and energy resistance. Increased energy and melee damage, which is probably good. Right, so, we do that. And the left hand can be... So what does a lot of damage? A flamer might be good, but then uh, I'm worried about um, being too close to Ada when she uses it. Not Ada, this is Curie, isn't it? So what have we got right down the bottom? What's the good stuff? Can't get the good stuff. We've got a minigun, but that's a bit too close up again. Hand Gatling Razor. Um, laser, should I say. Gatling gun. Oh, a lightning gun. Electrical discharge that arcs between targets. Yes. I like that. That's very similar to the one that we've got, isn't it? Right arm. Let's give you a sentry bot right arm. With the good armor again. When Chris give you increased melee damage, because on this arm we will have a melee weapon, I think. And let's go right down to the bottom again, see what there is. The best of a hammer saw. Yes, we'll go for a bit of that. I like that. Now, legs. We are going to give you proper legs, I think. I'm thinking assault on legs, which gives you superior movement speed, so you'd be much better around in uh, buildings and things like that, I think. So we'll give you them. And we'll give you some good armour. That is the best armour, isn't it? And some... Increased damage and energy resistance, increase uh, carrying capacity. Same one there as well. Nice, then I think that's you more or less done then, uh, Curie. You're looking completely different now, aren't you? You were a. Uh... What paint are we going to go for? Yeah, you were a. Um... A. Uh... La -la -la. Mr. Handy, and now look at you. You're a, a pretty heavy duty Assaultron now, basically. Yellow paint? Should we make a yellow? No, I'm going to go for green, actually, because... Uh, Madame Curie was the one who invented... Not invented, but did a lot of work with radiation. You Whoa, you're looking... You look a bit like a super mutant now. You do look pretty cool. Go on then, Curie, let's have a go. Let's see what we can do. You know, I think we probably will take Ada. I'm thinking of doing the glowing... Wow, you're so much quicker now. 
So I'm thinking of doing the glow in C pretty soon, but I'm thinking uh, maybe aid will be best for that. But what should we do in this episode now then? This is Radio Freedom. Let's go and do something a little bit different and uh, try um, aid out a bit a little bit. Maybe. Um, How we like it. Stay safe out there, people. Should we go and do this one? Or. Yeah, I think uh, probably. Let's go and defend Somerville Place. Let's go over there and see what's going on. And let's give uh, Curie a tryout and see how good she actually is. Uh, make sure that everything we put on there is the right stuff. Of course, we've gone for a um, essentially a Tesla rifle on one hand and then some uh, melee saws on the other hand. So she's going to be quite a uh, quite a beast. Hopefully she's much more close combat than what Ada is. And then we'll probably edit Ada a little bit to try and become a little bit more... Um, Long distance. Hello, sir. <clears throat> Please, just... Wait. You're not with the gunners. Are you here to help us out? I am indeed. Yes. Can you tell me about your trouble with the gunners? It's the gunners. We caught a group of them sneaking around a few days ago and had a bit of a dust-up. They ran off too easy once they saw we were gonna fight back. Gunners never back down that quickly. If you can help us shore up our defenses, Sure would help us out a ton. Okay. So what does he want? Build defense. Is that what he wants to do? Oh, Kiri liked that for some reason. Okay. Well, he wants us to improve his defenses at this um, at this place, which shouldn't be too difficult. I think we've got all the materials we need on us. No, it's in security and defense, isn't it? Turrets. We've got lots of oil now, haven't we? Yes. So. Where should we put this? I'm thinking maybe right there, the entrance to the house. Is that it done? Is there going to be an attack now? Hmm. Is there going to be an attack? Just as help defend. I reckon we're going to get attacked then. I hear gunfire. Yep. I hear gunfire. What's up on this hill? Oh. It wants us to stay back here by the looks of it. Ah, there we go. Ada's going for it. Not Ada, Kira. I keep getting. I need to remember now I've got two different ones. Have it your way. Ah, they're in the back. Go on, go down. What's up with Kiri? What's going on there? Why are you steaming at the back? Oh, that's not going to be a permanent thing there, uh, Curie, because that's yeah, just a bit... That. We won. You Minutemen really know how to bring the fight. We won't forget what you've done for us. Sweet. That was it. No, we need to. We need to speak to Preston Garvey. I thought that was going to be the case. While we're here, have they got any problems over here? Doesn't look like it. I don't think there's actually any um, things set up here. So maybe if we do um, get a bit more bits and bobs done for them. Let's get a a uh, recruitment beacon and a generator set up. And wire that up. Then they've got four beds already and four people. So they might need another bed. Why are they looking size-wise? This is a massive one, actually. This is actually really, really big, so... Potentially. I wish more of the settlements were on flat land, though. I really do. And let's go structures, prefabs... There's that. There's actually a tiny one there as well. How about the big one? Does the big one fit anywhere? It's not going to, is it? Well, this is not... Uh... Come on, fit down somewhere. No, it's not going to work, is it? 
I'm sure we can fit a couple of the small shacks in somewhere. Come on. Right, so that we can get one in there. Should be pretty good. We can fit a few extra beds in there. Gonna need to just build some little stairs up. Should pop into place, hopefully. Like so. And then um, just... We want to... Nope, don't do that. Um, furniture, beds... You and you, because we're actually five people here now. Actually, there's a we've gained a person since putting up the uh, recruitment beacon. There we go. So that'll help grow that settlement up a little bit. And uh, okay for everything else, they've got enough power, water, defense, beds, everything they're good for now. So we are good with this one. And um, so we can now go back to Preston Garvey and hand that in. We do have this mission up here as well, which I believe is destroying the rogue robots. Should we go and do that one? We weren't far away, were we? Let's go and do that one. Let's fast travel to Vault 81. And if we think we just blitz out quite a few missions in this episode, the next episode, I think we will go and have a... Well, we'll have a look at doing the Glowing Sea because um, I've realised now that I've been on this game now for about 10 months and I really need to get this done. I am really enjoying it, though. Still really enjoying Fallout 4, but I really want to get this finished before... Um... Before some of the other games that I want to play come out, like I'm going to be in Skyrim and uh, Final Fantasy 15 and things like that as well when they come out over the next couple of months. And of course we've got the new WWE game coming out soon as well, so that's going to take up a lot of time. So I want to try and um, not get this out of the way because I'm really enjoying this, but we need to uh, ideally get this completed a bit. I hear gunfire once again. Robo brain. Look at that shot. Took him out in one go. There's also a swarm bot somewhere though. There he is. And he's down. He's, oh, he's a. So that's the thing with swarm bots is they have a mini nuke inside them and they do blow up when they die. Um. So we completed that. There was a minute man down here that we uh, accidentally. We didn't kill him. I think the Robo Brain killed him. And that's exactly what we're going to tell people if they ask. You hear me? The Robo Brains did it. Right. Um, so that's that one completed. Now, what else do we have on our list of things to do? We can do our learning curve, or we can do feeding the troops, quarter mastery. A lot of these are just. So the problem is a lot of these quests are just repeatable and they're going to keep coming out on our list over and over and over again. So um, let's go for a learning curve. And see what we can do on that one. Um, we can... We can take that one off our list now and just go straight for learning curve. So it's actually back at the Boston Airport. Uh, which is the settlement, which is such a shame because it's a nice big flat area. It's the only big flat area um, on the entire game um, for a settlement really. And it's just a bit of a shame that you can't really build much there. So this is the power fish. You get this at Swan's Pond, I believe. You have to kill Swan, which you probably could do now. It's a behemoth. And we probably have enough on us now to, um, to be able to kill Swan. We haven't tried it as yet. I think I've been past the pond a few times, but I've never tried to interact with it. Can we fly to Los Angeles? Oh, Curie. What are you doing up there? <coughs> I don't know why the settler just sits up there all the time. It's like we've, we've built this nice little place for him. It's got some beds in. But he never seems to sleep. Oh, well. So let us go in to the airport now and interact with this quest and see exactly what they've got planned for us in this one. I think we need to take um, scribes out to the uh, wasteland and help them um, just clear some areas out, keep safe while they're looking for um, certain things. 
Reporting for duty, sir. Okay, mission What's detail. The mission? Search and retrieve research patrol, sir. I collect data, you watch my back. Let's do this. Roger that. Here's the location. I'll follow your lead, sir. So where are we going? The satellite station. Okay. Just handy we've been there before, so we can fast travel there. Tell you what, we're uh, whizzing through these missions right now, aren't we? The problem is we're just gonna have a lot of fast traveling because we're gonna have to, after this, fast travel around to handle the missions in, which is a little bit annoying. There's been a lot of fast traveling so far. And what's that? That's a laser musket. See, I really like the laser musket. It was um, a weapon we got very early on from uh, from Preston, I think, and it's a really good weapon, but it just uses up the it uses up the um... Over here. yep, the scribe's done it well. It uses up the um, the ammo really quickly. That's the problem. I remember we came. This is part of the mechanist um, quest, I believe, wasn't it? There's actually raiders here. I didn't even notice. I just ran straight in. I wasn't even paying attention. I just came running straight in. Is there someone else around? Are we good? I think we're good. Whoops. Bye bye. He did. I might have a change of weapon for a change. I'm going to take all that. Let's have a bit of a change of weapon. We've not had a change of weapon in a while. It looks like there's going to be raiders in there. So maybe we can go for... Um, we can go for the uh, the Human Slayer right, uh, pistol. Got a lot of ammo for it, so why not? Let's, let's have a go at something different for a change. Um, and we want to go inside, which we do going through here and into these stairs. So we need to clear the area out and allow the Brotherhood Scribe to uh, collect as much data as she needs. And that'd be another mission off the books then. What I might try and do is, once we've done some of these missions that I know are repeatable, I might not take a new one. I might leave them there for now. And then um, we can start to understand on our list of missions exactly which ones are ones we need to do and which ones are just ones that are going to keep coming up over and over again. So we've been in here before and they seem to have um, restocked the... Uh, the loot as well. Is that a blowtorch? It is a blowtorch. Hey. Yeah, I remember being here before. Come on, let me have a shot. Right here. That's... I forgot I've edited this weapon, so it uh, fires a lot quicker now. Anyone else in there? No. I'm sure there is someone else in there. I saw them earlier, but... Huh? So they haven't replaced the power core, though. That we stole last time. Come on, where's the other... Oh, shot. Go on, Noku, you do whatever you want. This gun is awesome! As is Ada. That was incredible. Like, I knew this gun was good before, but I haven't really used it much since we did all of our upgrades before. Whoa, you were hid around the corner, you were, weren't you? <laughs> well, Ada's uh, melee weapon works quite well as well. Right. So there's another mission off the list then. So is it just a case now of returning back to the Pride and to hand that one in? Do -do -do -do. Quests, return to Proctor Quinlan. So back at the Priden. Okay. So what I might try and do is I might just try and knock out as many missions as I can now during the episode. Then after the episode, while I'm off camera, I'll just go back and I'll hand them all in so you guys don't have to watch um, 
a load more fast traveling basically. So I'll probably do that. So what else we got that we can knock out? We'll just try and get as many off the list as we possibly can in this episode. So we can sort of understand exactly what we have got left to do. And I'll try and uh, keep some of the uh, the radiant or the variable or the uh, repeatable quests off of our list. Um, so what else we got? So that's done. That's done. And um, we could do feeding the troops. It's down in Warwick Homestead. Let's uh, fast travel down to there. I think we can talk our way around them and giving the troops the food and then we'll stop doing that after that one because I, I don't like that. I don't like the fact we're going to our own settlements and having to um, necessarily aggressively tell them they need to give us the food. It's not very nice really, is it? Anyway, that's, that's the way I look at it. That's the way the Brotherhood are a little bit though, aren't they? They're sort of a little bit entitled. That's the right phrase, isn't it? This is the same settlement we took the food from last time as well. You, sir. Yes, you over there. You, madam. No, you are a Roger. You are a man. We can I have help some you? Some supplies I can offer if you're interested. The Brotherhood needs your help to protect the Commonwealth. Donate a portion of your crops to the Brotherhood, and it will not be forgotten. I'm sorry, but we already lost all our stores to raiders. If we gave up our next harvest, we'd starve. Mr. Warwick, what are you doing here? Um... What would you take for your crops? Now there's a question I don't get every day. I'd have to say... A thousand caps would cover it. Thousand caps? How about 500 caps? No deal. Roger, you don't look like you're here to trade. Oh, God. What would you take for your crops? Never thought about that. I can't see parting with our crops for less than a thousand caps. No, let's just Dude, do it. When we harvest, it's all yours. Let's just do it. What? Are you joking me? Oh, Mr. no Norway. way. Have we just lost our settlement now because we got the food for the Brotherhood? That, I'm gutted about that. Well, I'm not doing any more of these now. I'm not doing any more of these. I just spent a thousand caps and giving away one of our bloody settlements. I'm not happy about that. Right, well, that's that quest done at least. Got quarter mastery. Let's go and uh, recover the flex capacitor at the hospital. Let's go and do that one as well. We're really whizzing through these now. How many quests can we get done in this episode? That's the big question. The big question that nobody's answering, uh, asking because there's nobody probably watching this video right now. If you're watching this video right now and you're listening to me right now, please leave me a comment and let me know because I'm not 100% convinced there's anyone actually watching these videos. Although I'm really enjoying making them, so I am going to carry on making them, but it'd be nice to know if there is at least one or two people out there enjoying them. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm going to keep doing this until I've completed the full game anyway. Because it's a really good thing for me, because when I play these sort of games off camera, I tend to uh, not necessarily get bored, but... Oh my god, there's a suicider. I tend to um, stop every now and again. And it takes me a long time to get back to it. Doing stuff like this is quite good because it means that I do come back to it because... Um... Oh, let's finish him off, hopefully. He's down. Good. That takes her. Oh my god, there's another one. How many suiciders were there? There was two. I think Kiri was right in the middle of that as well. This gun could do with a, uh, a bigger... No, Curie's down there. This gun could do with a bigger scope, potentially. Yeah, Curie's legs are not there. She's crawling around the place. She's trying her hardest, bless her. Oh, there's a Brotherhood scribe there helping us out. need to get a shot on the head, that'll finish him off, there we go. 
That has finished him off. There is still another super mutant somewhere. There is another enforcer, so let's go for headshots again. God, the aim is bad on this, isn't it? Is that the sound of Ada's legs scraping on the floor? How's a single one of these shots not hit the target yet? Right. Let's just get... Oh, come on, that was 84% and you missed both shots. Oh my god! Oh, just hit him! Oh, bloody hell. Right, he's reloading. Had a chance to get really close now. Finally got shot on. Fight him around the room. There's another one. Another one's just popped up. I don't know why you're just stood there, mate, for. Oh my god, it's a legendary super mutant butcher. And uh, that's not good. That is not good. Um, I reckon we need to throw some frag grenades into that room just to uh, just to help ourselves out here. Right, right so that is um, that has uh, mutated him. So that's taken off quite a chunk of his health, actually. Just throw another. Just throw one last grenade in there. See if you're doing the trick. Look at that for a, for a grenade throw. That was perfect. Oh. Well, that was a bit more than we expected just for fast travelling into summer, wasn't it? Um, anything of any interest? No, what do you have there? You have an assassin packed stuffed left leg. Wow! That, I like that. I really, really like that. I really do. I don't know if it's as good as what we're currently wearing, but it's got a pink stuffed toy on it. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Um, let's have a look and see what it says. Let's have a look and see what it says. Um, where are we? Uh, inventory. Apparel. So it's 14-14 against our previous left leg, which is... Um, where are your best left leg? There you are. 15-9. So it's actually probably better. Once we've, um, once we've upgraded it, it's going to actually be better. It's got the same perk on it as well. Great. So we need to go round to this way, I think. Sorry, I, just, I went off there for a second. My, uh, I just realised that um, my editing thingy had gone off my computer. My recording software had gone off my computer. Right, so... We're at the Shaw High School. We haven't been here before and it's got Super Mutant stuff outside. Does that mean there's Super Mutants inside? That could be the question. That could be the question. Uh, I hope a lot of these have been quite easy, actually. These missions, but I suppose they might fluctuate depending on where you're going to. And this, this place we haven't been to before, it might be a bit more difficult. Why would you shoot a laser through straight away? We still got the whoa. Have we still got the scribe with us. Then I didn't realise that was our scribe that we 
went on the mission with. I thought that was just a scribe that was just locally in the area. So it's almost like we've got two companions at the moment. See, this gun's good because it does the extra damage against super mutants, but in all fairness, because it takes so long to reload, I don't actually think it's that useful for us. Like for example, this combat rifle, I think would probably be a better weapon for us against super mutants. Just because it's got more... You can fire more bullets. It doesn't do as much damage necessarily, but... Okay, our health's gone down. There we go, that's him down. So I don't know where we need to get this from. It looks like it's going to be upstairs, potentially. I don't know how the scribe got up here. And this is not where we need to be, is it? Or is it? Um, looks like it might be, you know? I don't know where I'm going, but I seem to be uh, keeping on track slightly. Whoa! I, I'm, I apologise, Scribe. I didn't realise that was you. Have I just gone... Move! Have I just gone round the circle? I have just gone round the circle, haven't I? Gonna find you! Gonna kill you! Find me, then. You're here! You're here! Stop hiding! I am here, you're right. I'm looking for something else. I'm not looking for you. Someone there! How do we get to there? In there. No fight today. There's a door here. It's a master unlock though. We've done one of these in a few episodes ago, didn't we? Oh wow, that was lucky. Sweet. Is that put us straight in the right room? A noise. Guess so that's the turret out. What was that? Oh, there's mines on the floor. Don't worry about it. This is a novice lock, so this should be easier. You watch us struggle with the novice, didn't it? Let's say you watch us struggle with the novice lock and do the other one easily. Property of R. Burton. So let's kill whatever this is and then we'll uh, listen to that. So it's property of R. Burton. It'll be in the misc. So that might end up being useful. Oh, I, I pressed the wrong button there. That might end up coming useful. It might have like a password or something on there, or to be locked inside that room under a master lock. There must be something useful in there. All right, Burton. I'm here. Hurry up. Out with it. I have a lot of plans for this summer, and none of them involve chatting with you. Why, Ronald? I'm her. Skipping the pleasantries and getting right down to business. And after all we've accomplished together this semester. For the last time, you little snot, it's Principal Tanner. Fine, Principal Tanner. I'll make this quick. Excellent. You've been giving me Mentas to distribute to the students quietly and under the nose of the faculty. I have. Because of this, test scores have skyrocketed. What? You've been giving me brain you... pills every week. What did you expect, did you, you pathetic so little man? Well, so what if it's all true? No one's going to believe you. You're just a kid, and I'm the principal, and more importantly, an adult. Oh, I think they'll believe me, Ronald. Especially after they hear you admit everything in your own words. What are you talking about? Wait. Is that a holiday? Son of a... Interesting. It's almost like the headmaster was... Um, almost drugging the child there by the sounds of it. That's a strange one. We can get out of here. Let's just drop down and go the easy way. That's not the easy way, is it? I've just screwed that up, haven't I? I know, I can jump over there. Sweet as a nut. That's another one done. And we're at 34 minutes now, so I might say that's going to be the last one. And what I'll do now is I'll go off, off camera and I'll hand these in. Now, I think there's one more I might do... Um, which is just clearing out a couple of rooms, so I'll just do that off camera as well. I'll hand all of those in and I'll see exactly 
what we have left on our quest list. And we'll come back in the next episode and um, we will go through it all. And hopefully we might make our way towards the glowing sea in the next episode as well. If they're not the next episode, then probably the episode after. Maybe the episode after, because that'll be the episode 90 then. I'll give it a nice little um, a nice little landmark for that. Um, so yeah, always, as always, as always, as always, if you have enjoyed this episode, then please do hit the like button. It does really help me out. And of course, if you are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well for a lot more Fallout 4. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.